Hey, I'm back. And today I thought I'd talk about strange animals and things I've seen in Japan. Originally today I was going to talk about something else, but I was inspired when I saw this outside of my house. And I saw this, I was like, what is this? It looks like a, a cockroach that got hit with some white paint or something. It had white paint splattered on it. But actually, this is an interesting type of beetle. I believe it's actually called the Asian Longhorned Beetle. And where I'm from, they don't have this. So I saw, I was like, what is, what is going on? But this actually isn't the first time I've been surprised by animals and other things. There's another type of spider that's really common in Japan, especially in autumn. It's huge and it makes webs everywhere. I've actually seen this one time inside my house and it really freaked me out. Apparently people told me that it's not poisonous, but who wants to mess with spiders really? I guess some people like them. I don't. So the only time I want to see spiders is in uh, the movie, that new Spider-Man. I want to see that, but I don't want to see it inside my house. Another one that bothered me was uh, cockroaches. Of course they have cockroaches here. I, I really wish they didn't, but they do. And of course they have them, I think, like probably almost everywhere in the world. But the thing that really disturbed me and made me angry was cockroaches can fly. So I remember one time uh, a friend and I were living in a house and it was an older house that they rented to us for like whatever reason. and. One of the things I realized in Japan is I think lots of the reason people like new houses is because you don't have to worry about problems like this. But lots of older houses, like the gaps between doors or something, they aren't really sealed very tightly. So like bugs and things can get in them. And also when Japanese people aren't living in the house, they just kind of let it go. And so when you get it, sometimes it's okay, but oftentimes you'll have, you know, like ants or roaches or something in there. So you really need to like spray and fumigate before you move in. But we didn't do that because we didn't know. And one day I saw a cockroach like crawling up the wall and I was like, what is going on? So I tried to go and I took like a magazine. I was like, I'll just kill it. And as I moved towards it, the cockroach actually flew at me. And I was like, Whoa. I'd never seen that before. I didn't know cockroaches could fly, but these can. And ugh, a terrible experience. So I recommend if you move into an apartment in Japan, just go buy the little like rat, the roach traps and everything and put those around so that way you don't ever have to deal with this. They work fairly well. After we did that, it, I haven't had a problem with it. So that's good. On a lighter note, so not, not disgusting bugs, well, I don't like any bugs really, but they also have bugs which they call kabuto mushi. And kabuto means like a uh, helmet and mushi means bug. But basically these are beetles, they're kind of like a stag beetle. I don't know the name in, in English actually, but they have this huge horn. And what people do with them in Japan is like kids use them to do beetle sumo where people just have these bugs and like I'll have mine and my friend has his and you put them together and they just like fight each other and try to like knock each other over and things like that. And I was like, what? I, I'd never heard about that. But to be honest, I think this is probably a precursor to uh, Pokemon. So I think people may be doing this for a long time. And maybe that's where the Pokemon got the idea from. You know, Kabuto Mushi, I choose you. You know, and, and throw them in the ring and they battle. So I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. And they don't look as bad as some of the other bugs, but it's definitely an interesting, you know, cultural thing. But let me get off the bugs because I hate them and you probably hate hearing about them. But there's other animals that are like interesting too. Like for example, tanuki. For the longest time, I didn't know what tanuki were. And one of the things I remember was the game Super Mario Brothers 3. So if anybody else remembers, they had lots of new things in there. And one of the new things was the tanuki suit. I remember you'd get a like leaf and you get like the raccoon suit and like the raccoon tail would fly and you could go in the air but they had another one like a tanuki suit and it had almost the exact same thing and it looked similar but i remember like if you push was it down in a or down in b or whatever and you turn into the statue and i was like what is going on and it's like why is it called a tanuki suit and not like a raccoon suit but actually when i came to, actually i shouldn't say when i came to japan like probably by the time i was like in the high school i actually looked it up and i was like oh it's actually a different animal and tanukis actually have a long history in japan they're known for being tricksters and they actually use them outside of businesses and other things not actual tanukis but tanuki statues and other things so that was like oh it's actually tanukis and i think i've seen one one time but they're a little bit rare but that's an interesting one for 
for me. And maybe one of the other ones that's interesting is these uh, bioluminescent squid. These are really interesting. Unfortunately, I couldn't go out and see it this year, but I want to go next year. But they're squid. You know, they swim in the ocean. And during, I think, spring or early summer, they actually come fairly close to shore. And like I said, they're bioluminescent. So they light up and it's this neon blue color. And at night, you can see this. And it's a really, really beautiful sight because it looks like there's these you know, like fluorescent lights underwater and the tide comes in. It's really beautiful. I'll try to put a picture up here and I'll try to link a video down below so you can see it. But this is actually a really like cool thing about it and it's one of the interesting things. So if you live in another country or you're planning to go to another country, it's one of the interesting things to like check out the different types of uh, animals and other things they have because you know, you may, you may never see it if you stay in your own country. So that's one of the cool things about living and going to other countries. But that's it for today. I hope you like this. Leave me a message down below about anything. And also give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, see you.